when I think of bands and the way they interacted and did things and did brilliant things that will last as long as we can play music like this, uh, I just think of the Beatles and Zeppelin because both of them just started. Think of the difference in the Beatles in uh, the very first things they recorded and then getting on into uh, I Am the Walrus and <laughs> and then on into Abbey Road and things. Think of the incredible mature maturity that happened as that went along in a fairly short time. And the same thing with Zeppelin. I think they, now the Beatles, when they started, they were all as good as they would ever be individually. But it's just that coming togetherness. Mm. Come together. Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, sorry. But uh, <laughs> both those two bands did it more than, now the Stones, is, it's great. They're a different type of thing uh, because they're, in some ways, I, I don't want to say too much about that or get uh, so it sounds like i'm against the stones i love them they're fantastic mm -hmm. but it's a different type of thing and you see them today they're still going yeah it's but cool. it's just really two guys you know with mm -hmm. two or three guys with other great people brought in especially today now but uh, zeppelin and the beatles the four people together coming together maturing together going from great beginnings to incredible middles to super endings as well wow uh, judge, nothing else like those two a lot of people for them the beatles are like the ultimate band i actually think zeppelin for me personally i would put them above the beatles for me personally if you had to compare the two bands how would you compare them in terms of like i don't even know what the question would be like how would you compare the beatles and zeppelin <laughs> to each other you know they're very different bands of course yeah uh the beatles were much more pop music singles uh three minute songs sometimes, you know, and then morphed into revolution number nine and, and walrus and things like that. Uh, whereas, whereas Zeppelin is at the beginning was a more of an album band. There was the occasional hit single, of course, an edited whole lot of love or whatever there might be. But, uh, the Beatles, you, if you said power pop or teeny bopper in, in a way, in, in a, uh, not in a negative way, but a, that that was definitely them. You didn't see the little girls screaming crazy for Zeppelin. You saw adults, men and women, whatever, just losing it, tearing out their hair, standing on the seats, yeah. they're in a whole lot of love or whatever. Different styles, but but I I could never say one was the better band than the other because they they're just differences. But I would put the two of them equal levels right at the top. Did you have any relation at all with anybody from the Beatles? I met them all at one point, but no real relationship. You know, the one thing I've always regretted so much, <clears throat> I think it was when they were making Revolver or maybe the, the Rubber Soul, maybe it was Rubber Soul. Uh, I was working at Stax in Memphis, mm -hmm. and uh, they called, uh, Brian Epstein called up Stax and said that he wanted to come and record at least a song at Stax with the Beatles. Could they do that? And uh, they said, yeah, sure, we can do that. And but he's, what Epstein told them is it's got to be totally undercover, totally quiet, no press, don't let anybody know. We want to get in, do it, then later we'll talk about it. If we don't do that, we're not, we can't do it because they had too many, you know, screaming girl problems and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, Al Bell at Stax came to me and said, hey, the Beatles are going to come to a song would you engineer it for us? And I said, nah, I don't want to. Okay. Yeah. But no, <laughs> of course I immediately said, absolutely. I definitely would be involved. I was so excited, so fired up. I was going to get to record a Beatles song. So what happened was that one person at Stax, who was one of the co-founders, a lady leaked it to the Memphis press Center newspaper. Oh man. And an article got in the newspaper that the Beatles might come to Stax to record. She just couldn't help it. You know, it was so exciting. Number biggest thing in the world, the Beatles at that yeah. point, Ed yeah. Sullivan, all that stuff. So uh, Brian Epstein called back up and said, I'm sorry, we have to cancel it. We can't do it. And that song was going to be got to get you into my life. Huh. And if you listen to it, you'll hear George Martin's attempt at the Memphis horn arrangement and sound. Hmm. 
but it's not what the Memphis Horns would have done yeah. or arranged or would have been played at Stax. But uh, so that was my relationship with the Beatles that didn't happen at the last minute, and I was so sad. Still am. Oh, man. I cry every day. 